Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, and, and welcome. Um, I am Ivan Laney. I serve as the Workforce Institute Division Director. Um, I am grateful today to um, be in the presence of greatness. I mean, for some of you, I remember orientation started like, feels like two weeks ago. Um, you came in, you had a, a mindset of being open, ready to learn. Um, you had instructors that challenged you um, to be confident and be better. Um, now you have the skills to go out and um, conquer the world. And we wish you much success. have some re remarks from our executive office. Um, first, I'll bring up uh, our executive vice president, and he'll be followed by our vice president and CEO. Um, so at this time, I would like to bring up for greetings, um, Mr. Daniel Ofriato, uh, executive vice president of operations for the United Planning Organization, and he will be followed by Ms. Diana Ginyard, vice president and CEO for UPO. Congratulations, the Community Action Agency for Washington, D.C. We have received the designation to work with stakeholders to help every D.C. resident to achieve economic security. We believe that one of the pathways to achieving economic security is to have the requisite skills to compete in this very highly competitive job market. And so it is in that spirit that you have received this training. And I personally and um, the leadership of UPA want to say congratulations. Um, I bring you greetings from the board of directors of Anna Kenyard. Thank you, Daniel. Congratulations. You guys look so beautiful. So I want you to give yourself a hand. So proud of you. And to the family, I know that they could not have accomplished this without your help and support. So let's give ourselves a big hand. Blake <laughs> Martin is a parent. The reality is that anytime when we walk into a place, people see us, right? And they're going to look from head to toe to see what we look like. So as you go into your different profession, remember to be a parent. They require uniform, then make sure that your uniform is pressed, clean, and looking good because you are great, okay? Then the next one is attendance. You gotta show up for work. People watch attendance. If you are a person that's always running late, before that probationary period is over, they're going to dismiss you. But um, I'm from I'm from South Carolina, from the country, and we were taught to be on time is to be at least 15 minutes early. So I would like to encourage you to get to work on time. Let your supervisor boss know that you are dependent. And the third and final is attitude. You gotta have the right attitude. There are gonna be times when your uh, supervisor is gonna say something you probably don't like. <laughs> Take it in. Don't always respond to everything. Okay? Because remember, you're on the track of greatness. And a lot of times, great people are quiet. And they just do the work, okay? You may have to talk to your friend or your family after in the evening, but don't do it on the job. Anything that will hinder you from progressing, leave it we want to see you progress over the years. We are responsible for tracking you for the next uh, year. And we want to hear a good report. If you have not been placed yet, continue to work with your job develop, developer so that we can help you find employment in uh, the fields that you have been studying for. We are, again, we are so proud of you.
you for providing me with the opportunity to speak to your wonderful graduates today. Today we're going to discuss Dreaming Me, right? Roy Bennett says, live the life of your dreams. Be brave enough to live the life of your dreams according to your vision. And I am so happy to see my graduates. Um, they have come a long way. I had a few who have started, came back, had to leave again, come back. But at the end, as someone said earlier, they finished. So I'm super excited about each of them coming back, pushing through whatever it was that they had to push through. And I thought, I tell them in class, you're going to have to push. You're going to have to motivate yourself. So just figure out what can motivate you to keep going. And each of them took it on, graduated, and now employed. So I'm excited for each and every one of them. Um, so with that being said, I tell all of my students, oh, the places you will go. Once you start, it is just a stepping stone. The CDA. All right, so my first graduate is Shayla Bradley. <laughs> kind of called it up to me because I didn't know we were going to graduate so early, but she was ready. <laughs> and my last but not least is Miss Amika Robinson. Yeah. 
few words about her. Um, <laughs> you know, I, as old as I am, to be training young people and getting their minds attentive to um, this particular discipline, I thought sometimes it's a challenge. But with her, you know, it was questions, questions, and I don't have a problem with questions because that's how you're going to learn. That's how you're going to get out here in the industry and you know be a part of. And as I as I constantly told the students, you can't be diverse. I mean, you must be diverse. You cannot be one dimensional. accepted, I knew this would be a breakthrough and progression toward my goals and career. I am honored to be a part of Chef's class. The training has been diligent, the curriculum thoroughly explained, and although a short 12 week, plenty of hands-on experience. There were no dull moments in the kitchen or classroom, as Chef banged on tables and screamed for us to stop lifting your knife off the board. <laughs> Reminding us that we're in a commercial commercial kitchen, not cooking at home, all while increasing the pressure because he saw the potential in us. I've learned to manage my time better in the kitchen and work effectively. I dislike carrots prior to class, but now they have become a favorite food since practicing the five dice. It's been a joy to witness the willingness and enthusiasm of my classmates over the week. I remember we started off nervous with no sense of urgency, waiting on chef, waiting on chef's orders to organize our stations and be ready for work. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember we started off nervous with no sense of urgency, waiting on chef's orders to organizing our stations, ready for work and a delicious meal afterwards. For future students, the ability to think, lead, create, and communicate are vital in food service. Chef Joe, the wages they pay you won't fill any banks, but your hard work deserves a big thing. We appreciate the preparation and lessons. Now it's time for the world to deal with us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
team, Abdul. Gabriela Fernandez. Jasmine Quills Robinson. Yes, sir. <laughs> and Eastland Smith. Stick with me and I'll take you to the mountain top. <laughs> <laughs>
I also um, just got awarded with a $15 million uh, credit line. And I wanted to help. Uh, once I set my business up, I'm going to come back to UPO Amen. and teach uh, some of the students here from Omaha Lyle uh, how to get um, that kind of credit line and to uh, invest and to uh, build your own bank. And uh, I just wanted to say UPO has been one of the best things I've been a part of. And I'd like to thank them very much. And I love the classmates. And I'm glad that the parents are here and friends to uh, assist and to support uh, each graduate. So thank you.
always fought to help out anybody in the class. He would help people work their computers, work their people work their phones, help people work if they got something wrong. Let me show you how to do it. He took the time out. And I want to say, Mr. Raleigh Smith. Something on his record, you know, that can make a change in, in 
himself his life. Uh, thank you all. Certification uh, class graduates, uh, the first graduate, Mr. Cedric Williams. Chris will be the classroom representative to bring us remarks. Thank you. 